I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Would you do this to your brushless gimbal? All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for checking out this brushless waterproof gimbal. It is three axis handheld gimbal. And this is great for a lot of reasons, mainly because I really needed one of these. And this happens to be a really high quality one. Uh, I've seen other versions of them come out for my iPhone 6 Plus and the 7 that just came out that I got. Uh, but I needed something for my GoPro Hero 5 and this also fits a Session. So you can add, this is a Run Cam 3, but a Session is exactly the same size and it comes with this little converter so you can use either camera on there so it's great. I can also put my older GoPro Hero 4 on there as well and it'll balance out. So it's compatible with all three of those cameras. Now this is by a company on Amazon called Feu Tech, and I'll try to add the link down there below but this is called the WG2 like I was saying it's wearable waterproof uh, and it's three axis gimbal on here so it's really neat because you can also tilt it by hand and hold it in position and it'll hold that position it kind of you can feel sort of a little click in the gimbal and it automatically responds to sort of a manual focus point a manual tilt and you can go back to center and it'll hold that position it also has two different modes so if you select here click once here and it'll put it in a pan mode that holds its horizon and a certain focal point. So if you wanted to point a certain direction, no matter which way you move the camera, it's gonna keep that direction, that horizon line intact, no matter which way you go. Now, if I press it once again, I'm in sort of a panning mode. So it follows around and this is great for action sports or if you need to do a really fast pan, but you want it to be smooth, you can turn it super fast. And I'm gonna show you some examples of that because we actually took it out to uh, an RC car track a little private event that we got to take this out to and uh, do some filming some pretty awesome filming with this camera now it does have two mounting points on here so if you want to use any of the gopro accessories you have one back here on a horizontal and you have a vertical mount point so this is pretty cool because you can tilt this you can use the gimbal on a horizontal axis like this or you can tilt it on a vertical position like this and it'll actually work on a vertical position so pretty cool either way you go with this camera you have three axis stabilization that's pretty neat now also in the box it does come with a few varieties of sort of selfie sticks and this one i like the most it's the longer one uh, what's so great about this one is the fact that it does actually collapse or it'll go all the way almost to the ground. You can make it uh, variable heights, but I really like the fact that it's really stable like this. Um, so if you're filming anything that um, sort of needs a little extra bit of stability for your GoPro 5, you can definitely widen it out like this. And you also get one of these. It's a little shorty tripod that mounts to either the back side right here or this bottom port, either way. This is a little tiny quarter inch mount, so pretty standard in photography. Now, aside from using manual settings with the pan and holding it into just different positions there, you also have a Bluetooth app, which works actually quite well with this gimbal. If you download the app called Feiyu On, it's actually a little barcode inside the manual that comes along with this and it'll open up this app you go to a variety of different cameras there they have some really really nice gimbals uh, gimbal camera setups so you go to wg2 here and go ahead and press connect it'll show you that name for your camera go ahead and click on that and it'll take you into your camera settings now this is cool because if you're standing back from your camera and you want to fix the position here we're going to do regular axis it'll go back to a four axis control right here and now I can change it from the Bluetooth app this is pretty cool and it's actually really smooth so it's not gonna ever look jerky or strange now what's probably the neatest thing about this is the fact that it can do a 360 pan an automatic 360 pan you can set that up and you can set up to change the timing parameters of that inside here in the settings you can also do a fixed position 
time-lapse pan. So if you're going to do some really cool mountainside time-lapses, you can also do those, which is called auto-rotation mode. So you go in here and you can change up those rates on the tilting track and the panning track. So it's neat because I'll show you how that works. Uh, it shows your remaining time in here and you click on speed setting and you can go from 15 seconds all the way up to eight hours uh, in a single turn and pan at the same time. So we'll set it to 15 seconds, which will be kind of quick. So we can just see that uh, in operation. So first thing you're gonna do on the side of the gimbal, there's a little mode switch right where the power button is. We'll go ahead and go back out of that. And I'll scoot this over so you can see how exactly how it works. So on the front right here, you're gonna see a little blue light pop up. I'm gonna hit this power button four times. One, two, three, four. It'll beep once, and now it's waiting for me to make my first position of my auto rotation. So I'm gonna go here, and it's gonna stop. I'm gonna press the power button again, it's gonna beep. And now my next one, I want to stop over here, and I'm gonna turn the camera up like this so that it does a pan and a tilt at the same time. So it's gonna go back to its original position and it's gonna automatically start turning and panning at the same time for my time lapse. Now that's suddenly set to 15 seconds and you can do it in intervals all the way up to eight hours. So that's pretty amazing. And speaking of modes, if I go ahead and press this one time, it'll take it out of that time-lapse mode and put it in that original sort of headlock mode. It sort of keeps its fixed position there, uh, no matter which way I go. If I press it again, it'll put it in that auto pan mode to where it's kind of following along with me. Now this is awesome for like a lot of action sports like kiteboarding. You can wear this out in the Columbia Gorge. If you're kiting or windsurfing, you can wear it on chest harness and you'll get absolutely like rock solid video like you're, you're wearing a drone or something. This is kind of amazing. This is drone technology that you can wear essentially on a bike helmet. Uh, if you're kayaking, you can mount it on your chest or Oh, on your head. I actually have a little head mount right here. And this is a GoPro head mount that actually just has that quarter inch little mount point right there. And this winter for snowboarding is going to be super awesome too. So I can imagine this thing on like a chest mount going down the mountain. Uh, snowboarding would be super awesome. Now also inside their app, you can actually click this little menu over here on the right and you have settings and tutorials. There's a few different YouTube tutorials they link off to or you can watch this video. Uh, go ahead and click on setting. It'll take you to motor strength, mode, follow mode setting, rocker setting, auto rotation mode rate, and restore default settings down here at the bottom. Uh, if you go to the auto rotation mode, that's what we were just on, and it's gonna read your motor settings, what you have currently for your tilt and pan. You can make new selections right here, and we can go back to this parameter, uh, also choosing update there, and that's how you're gonna update the firmware. Now we're back out to the main screen of the app, and this is your control wheel right here. Like I was showing you before, if you click on this little button right here, it opens up this 360 version right here on the left-hand screen. You can kind of pan and tilt here with that jog wheel. And if you click over here, you can do sort of freestyle stuff. That's also pretty cool. It gives you sort of a visual here as to which one you have selected, which axis. And if you click that screen again and you click the center of the screen right there, it'll auto center the gimbal. Now if you wanna power the gimbal off, press and hold this power button for two seconds. I'm gonna show you the bag that comes along with it. This bag right here, sort of a, I'm not sure if it's 100% waterproof, but it has a pretty nice like wetsuit-like material on the outside of it for splash proof. And this selfie stick that comes along with it, this is all metal, as you can hear. This is kind of an aluminum stick. And that's not gonna fit in there. But once you have that off, you can stick the gimbal inside this little bag right here. And it fits in there with my GoPro hero on the gimbal so I don't have to take it on and off to put it inside this bag and that's kind of nice. It also has sort of a rubber grip zipper because they know you guys are going to be out in the water with these uh, and it has this little clasp ring right here where you could put something on there maybe tether it to the back of uh, your wetsuit or your kiteboarding harness or your windsurfing harness. 
So my favorite thing about this gimbal is the fact that it is submergible waterproof. You can take this thing completely underwater and that's pretty awesome for a lot of kiters, surfers, uh, wakeboarders, anybody that wants to get some kind of footage out on the water, uh, especially fishermen. If you guys have a boat and you're going out on the boat with clients for a fishing trip, you can actually make some really nice videos with this and a combination of a drone. I think you have a pretty nice package for uh, whatever family goes out on a charter with you. Or if you just want to document your day fishing, Fishing, uh, out on the water whether you're bass fishing or saltwater fishing now speaking of salt water guys if you take this gimbal out in salt water and you submerge it in salt water they do recommend that you wash it off with fresh water uh, immediately when you get back to shore as soon as you can because you'll have corrosion inside these motors uh, for this gimbal so be careful around salt water fresh water you're probably okay so this is going to be a game changer for a lot of people, mainly because you can take this traveling with you. You can take it scuba diving. Uh, you can take it swimming in the ocean. You can take it snorkeling or surfing or even out on the water on the lake for some wakeboarding. Put it on the helmet. Uh, you probably get some pretty amazing footage, way more amazing than uh, I am on the board. But I think for people that are interested in action sports, this is going to be awesome. So hopefully you guys... Uh, grab one of these and, and share with me some of the footage that you guys get out on the water with this. So um, drone footage is now coming to uh, <laughs> an action cam, helmet mounted cam or chest harness near you. So let's, uh, let's see some video footage of some of the places that I went with it. And uh, you can see how the footage looks for yourself.